Lindsay, talk about a Joe Cole party. I think there's a Cole Palmer party in West London tonight. What on earth just happened? I don't know. 2 0 up, and then, like I said last week, silly mistakes, but you know, when the eight minutes got added on, give us a lift. And yeah, madness. Was that the reaction that you needed to show out there after what happened at the weekend as well? Yeah, definitely, you know, we need to try and win as many games as possible and to win like that is nothing better. Right, talk us through those final couple of minutes of the match, Cole, because the equaliser came and then you get that winner within 82 seconds between those two goals. Well, yeah, we thought when we scored the second goal, you know, the fans lifted us, we lifted ourselves. Seeing the gaffer said he was two minutes left, so... We thought we'd go for it and thankfully it's gone. How'd you hold your nerve though, these final minutes of the game? So much pressure on you to step up to the spot, even just to rescue a point in that game, let alone to go on and then score the winner. Yeah, you know, took many penalties. Uh, people say to score penalties, but I'm not gonna miss the penalties, am I? Touch wood, but to score in the last minute is crazy. Crazy, and you have got that match ball in your hands. It's your first senior hat trick. How does that feel? Yeah, buzzing, buzzing. And a Manchester lad playing against Manchester United. You're a United fan, I believe, as well. Is that right? Yeah, when I was growing up, I was a United fan. So, yeah. Did you get an extra incentive playing against this team? You scored against them in the other leg as well. You're the first player since Frank Lampard for Chelsea, the first English player to score home and away against Manchester United, too. You know, I just think trying. Uh, each team, you know, do the same thing, but I've scored that away and I've scored, you know, a few here tonight, so yeah, wasn't. There are people saying, Cole, that you are the signing of the season. Is that a nice feeling for you to be getting that type of praise? Yeah, I just try to take each game as it comes and show the Chelsea fans and show everyone what I came here to do was play football. Well, you're doing pretty well, Cole. Congratulations. Enjoy it as you walk off. Thank you. Cole Palmer there, walking away with the match ball, his first senior hat-trick there. Said it was absolute madness, did not know how that happened. That is the latest winning goal in Premier League history in the 101st minute. It led to Joe Cole busting out the rave roofs down the touchline <laughs> here. Joe, you can't hide one. We're going to have that on camera at some point, I'm sure. Just tell us I'm how that, how that felt. Camera. I'm, I'm delighted. You know what? I love football. I love moments like this. It's just all of these people in here, whatever's going on in their life, they've come in there to watch their team not give up, fight right to the end and give them a moment. This will go down as one of the great games in this stadium. Mark my words. It's, for this team, this could be this could be so important. But forget all that. It's all about the moment. That young lad there. He needs to get his coat back on. But he's just, look <laughs> no, at that, the joy, the joy. <laughs> no other it. sport, Linz, no other sport does this. No other sport. It's why we are so privileged to be here. Well, amazing. And Rio, no other sport breaks your heart like this as well. Uh, I've had every emotion today in this 90 minutes or 98 minutes. It's been, at times I've been on the floor like I am now. Um, but at times I was high as a kite. And for May United to be 2 0 down and then come back and take a lead and look in such command at 3 2, look composed at times. I think Mad Madiweke changed the game when he came on. He had that ejection of pace, gets the penalty. But Cole Palmer throughout the game was the, the shining light for this Chelsea team. And you have to pay respect to them. Listen, they brought in a lot of players, but he's that jewel in the crown now. Um, and listen, it is, this was just a great spectacle. This was a showcase of what the Premier League is about. These fans in here, that. The Chelsea fans that were leaving, we saw guys in the, going out in their wheelchairs. They rolled back in again, came back in beside us when that third goal went in and waiting for the penalty. It was just amazing to see the, the, the ups and downs of emotions. I'm gutted, I'm devastated. The Man United fans are going to go back devastated. But one thing they can't question in this stadium, anyone that was here, anyone watching, the desire and the character of these players at different stages of this game was there for all to see.